Hello, my friends. Pastor David here at Point Pleasant United Methodist Church. Um, I do have a bit of a cold today, so pardon my voice, but we did want to get some financial summaries to you about where we stand now and, and some goals that we might have uh, as we approach the end of the year. This Sunday, we reported our September financial report. We had expenses for September of 25015 and an income of 24751 That created a net loss for the month of September of $264. Now, if we go through the year um, up through September, we had a net loss of $4,509. I also want to add that our legacy of love balance at the end of September was 47829 and I'll talk more about what legacy of love is uh, in just a moment. The next information that we received this week is our October financial summary. Um, our expenses in October were 26750 with 31602 in income. So that created a net gain for the month of October of $4,852. What that means is great news. That means that through the year, through October, we've actually had a net gain of $343. Um, so congratulations. That's wonderful. That's great news. Uh, we also made a $40,000 payment on our mortgage through the Legacy of Love. And so... Uh, our legacy of love balance now stands at 11829 We did receive additional funds this month into legacy of love. So some of you may not know what our legacy of love is. Our legacy of love fund is a separate fund that we have for paying off our mortgage principal, just the principal amount of our mortgage. Our loan terms require that we pay at least $90,000 per year toward our principal. Now in 2022, we were able to pay $100,000. And in 2023, we paid $90,000. That includes the $40,000 payment that was made in October. Our mortgage balance is now $760,777.34. So at that $90,000 per year rate, we're about eight years away, uh, a little over eight years away from being able to pay off our mortgage. And our legacy of love balance sits at $11,829. So I want to name some celebrations that we have for this year. First of all, we were able to donate $5,800 to UMCOR, which is the United Methodist Committee on Relief for Disaster Relief. That's more than we've donated in years past, and so I want to highlight that. 100% um, of our giving toward UMCOR actually goes to the disaster areas because we have uh, our apportionments that we pay each year to the church that cover the administrative fees of UNCOR. So when we give $5,800, we can know that 100% of that was given to disaster relief. The trustees have completed multiple projects this year, uh, including finishing up the Parsonage remodel with, with new windows that were given. And my family and I are so grateful and thankful for all the work that was put into the Parsonage uh, and, and all the projects that the trustees have done. So there are some things that we're doing around that are worth celebrating. We do have several designated accounts, uh, but in speaking with finance committee, we feel like those designated accounts are appropriately funded. So if any mission or, or uh, project that needs to start within those designated accounts, we feel like we have enough seed money to get those projects started and we can then fund as we need to throughout. If you'd like to see a financial report of our designated giving, uh, we do have those printed and we can supply that for you. And then again, this year we can celebrate that we have paid that $90,000 down on our mortgage principal. So where does this leave us? I want to name some goals that we have as we close out 2023. First of all, 
I would love to have $50,000 in the Legacy of Love account so that as we start next year in January, we could make a payment right away that chips away at that, at that mortgage principal, and then it also lowers our interest that we have to pay for the rest of the year. Again, our current balance in Legacy of Love is 11829 so we're 20% of the way there already. So let's pump that account up so that we can uh, make that principal payment as soon as possible. And then, this is a celebration, but it's also a goal. We're net positive for the year, $343 for the year, uh, net gain for 2023, and we just wanna keep our general fund going that direction. Uh, so as you think about your giving for the end of the year, I would, uh, I would just encourage you to uh, give generously, uh, and to think about how the church has blessed you and how you might be a blessing to our church and our community as we close out the year. Thanks so much, everybody, for your time. God bless.